Here's what I want to do. I want to get into this really quick. I, I, got, I got a word that's brewing in me. I titled this sermon, Praise Him on Credit. Praise Him on Credit. Sometimes you just got to praise Him before you even know how it works out. Sometimes you just got to say, you know what, I don't understand it. Uh, I, don't, I don't agree with it. I don't like the season I'm in, but I'm going to praise you anyhow. Sometimes you got to praise him on credit. Go ahead and look at your neighbor and say, sometimes you just have to praise him on credit. Now tell that other neighbor who ain't even paying no attention. Sometimes you just got to praise him on credit. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a dress rehearsal before we get into this word. So what we're going to do, I know some of you are in a valley. I know some, I can look at you. I I can look at you and say, man, I know some things are on you right now. And you may not know how it's going to work out, but I know who's going to work it out. So what we're going to do for 10 seconds, I know it's cray cray. I'm just glad to be back in Kentucky. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're just going to stand to our feet. Yep, right now we're going to stand to our feet all over the... If your neighbor don't want to participate, tell come on, neighbor, join me. And what we're going to do, we're going to turn it up in here for 10 seconds. We don't know how it's going to work out, but God is working it out right now. Come on, 10. Praise his name. Praise his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Come on. I'm going to praise you, Lord, no matter how I know it's going to work out. Hallelujah. Five. Come on, four, three, two, one. Come on, get him praise in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now stay standing. Listen to me. Some of you look at me and go, here we go again. Mm. No wonder the devil's got you right where he wants you. If you can't praise him on a Sunday... You'll have a hard time on Tuesday, I'm telling you. you got to learn how to praise him on credit. you got to say, bro, you don't know where I'm at. He does. And so, man, I'm ready. Y'all ready? Everybody throw your hands up in the air like you don't care. Hey. Y'all ready? Here we go. Let's tape them up. I missed y'all. Yeah. Father God, every hand that is raised, I pray right now a supernatural blood hedge over their life. God, right now, I pray, God, as we raise our hands, we surrender. God, some of us are in a valley. Some of us don't know how you're going to work it out. We just trust that you are going to work it out. So, God, today, as I preach the word that you have downloaded in my spirit, I pray, dear God, that, Lord, it will go north, east, south, and west. It will not come back void. Lord, help me, dear God. Help us to learn how to praise you on credit. In Jesus' name we pray, and all God's people said. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be seated. See, some people, some people don't praise God, listen to this, unless God is blessing them or serving them. But the, watch, that's not praise. Well, watch, and listen to me. I'm trying, I'm going to say this thing. Help me preach. Most people don't praise God, I'm going to say it again, unless God has blessed them or God's working on their behalf. But that is not praise. Let me break this down for you Kentucky style. Praise is not based upon your feelings, your emotions, or your circumstances. It's not based upon, when I praise God, here's how I know it's praise. If I don't allow the circumstance to be louder than my shout, if I don't allow my problem to take me through the valley, Here's here's what real praise is. Real praise says, even though I can't see it, I feel the Holy Ghost. Even though I can't hear it, even though I can't taste it, even though I can't feel it, I'm going to praise him anyhow. No matter what the circumstance looks like, no matter how I feel this morning, no matter what kind of week I had last week, today is the first day of the week. And so I'm just telling you this. Listen, we shouldn't even have to see it. God's already done enough for us that we should praise him the rest of our lives. Just him waking you up this morning, putting clothes on your back, putting a dollar bill in your pocket, 
having a voice that you can say amen. Being able to walk in, to talk in, to give God praise. God's healed some of you, and you have allowed the devil to come on in just a little bit and make you sit down. But I stopped by 3145 East Elkhorn Road tell somebody today, you've got to learn how to praise him on credit. You've got to learn how to praise him on credit. Y'all getting it this morning? So I say, I got this. Listen, listen, I don't want to be a grown man. I don't want to be a grown man. It's going to hurt. <laughs> Sitting at a kiddie table. Grown man. Said, y'all are laughing, but I uh, don't want to be a grown man. Sitting at a kiddie table, mad, upset, because I didn't get my way. Y'all laughing, y'all can recognize that, right? Yeah. Grown man. Feel the Holy Ghost. Sitting at a kiddie table, mad and upset. Had 20, tw mad for 20, 25 years. Sitting in the same little kiddie chair. Grown man, it hurts bad, y'all. I'm so uncomfortable. Because you know why I wasn't made for a kiddie chair? Uh-huh. I wasn't made for a kitty chair. Now, I know some of you are looking at me. Help me, Holy Ghost. It hurts. Um, grown person, you're mad right now. You're upset right now. Watch this. I don't want to sit in this chair for the rest of my life. I don't want to sit in this little bitty kitty chair at a kitty table all my life. It's not made for me. It's made for infants. It's made for baby. It's made for children. It's not made for adults. Somebody help me this morning. I don't want to sit in a kiddie chair. I don't want to be mad all my life. I don't want to be angry. I don't want to die an angry person. God's been too good to me, hallelujah, for me to sit in a kiddie chair all my life. I'm just telling y'all, turn to your name and say it's time to graduate. Uh, tell, tell the other neighbor, it's time to graduate. Time to graduate. And I know some of you, in chair number two, I want to talk about the normal chair. Not the kitty chair, but the normal chair. See, the normal chair, whew, ah, oh, I ain't lying. Whoa, it's normal. It fits me. It's comfortable. It's not too big. It's not too little. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. Woo, I'm preaching better than y'all acting. Yeah. Hey, it's a normal seat. Just watch this. Everybody just be normal. Just be normal. Just come to church. Then grow up a little bit. Giddy, 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 giddy. Giddy, giddy, giddy. <laughs> I'm having fun whether y'all like it or not. Normal chair, kitty chair, normal chair, normal chair. Just be normal. Grow up a little bit, but be normal. Just have normal praise. Just, just come to Sunday school and small groups and just, just be normal. Grow up a little bit, but be, be normal. Don't be too cold. Don't be too hot. Just be normal. But watch this. God has so much more for us. I know a lot of people, listen to me. I'm telling you, I, I talk to people, I go to conventions, I preach it, I, I know I see things, and y'all do too. You see the way the world is. Did y'all see the presidential debate? Kitty, 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 kitty. Woo, kitty, 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 kitty. I'm going to leave that. I want to go there, but I'm not. Normal, just be normal. Jenna, just be a normal Christian. Just be normal. Don't go crazy in church. Don't praise him too intense. Don't be a kitty praise. Don't have just a normal praise. But just, just, just be normal. Just be normal. So listen to this. I'm going to tell you this. I want, it's not about the kitty chair or the normal chair. It's about the big chair. 
not the kitty chair, the normal chair, but it's about the big chair. I'm going to ask Aaron to put a picture up there. When I was in Florida, woo! That's a big chair. <laughs> For a king. I receive that. So I don't play little church games. Hey, here's, how, here's how religious people do. Nah, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Don't call me a king. Nah, I'm just a little boy. You know? But that, that right there, that's a, that's a big chair. That's, that's, a, that's a big, big chair. And church, I truly believe God wants to take his children, his church, from a kitty chair to a normal chair to a big chair. I really believe that. So what does it take? I'm glad y'all asked. What does it take to go from a kitty chair to a big chair? What does it take, watch, to go from a kitty table to a banquet table? Yeah. Most people, if you're not, listen, if you're not careful, you'll start recognizing the kitty stuff, and it's going to mess you up. So listen, I'm glad you asked. I want the Holy Ghost to help me preach this. I want you to look at Psalms 23, verse 4. I love this. I want to get this deep down in your spirit this morning. Psalm 23, verse 4. I'm reading out the NIV. Listen to this. Even though, even though I walk through the darkest valley, kitty, 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 I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, the darkest time, the darkest seasons of my life, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. That's a good bumper sticker. It will remain a bumper sticker until it becomes a reality in your heart. David, listen to this. David wrote this Psalms. David wrote this Psalms while sitting, watch, in a valley. He wrote this psalm. Psalm 23, verse 4, was written in a valley. It wasn't written on a mountaintop. It was written in a valley. A dark place in his life. And listen, even some scholars will tell you he was highly depressed at this time. He was highly depressed at this time. But I want you to watch what David says in Psalm 24. His first two words it's stuck in me. I can't get away from it until I release it into your spirit, and I'm getting ready to do it right now. The first two words, while he was in a valley, in a dark season of his life, highly depressed. So don't tell me if you've got depression here today. I know it's real. I battle it all the time. I know it's real. But I'm telling you today, we've got a remedy. We've got the, we got the word for God. We know that God can help us here today. But you've got to want it here today. You've got to go from a kitty, 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 kitty to a big chair. How do you do it? How do you go from a kitty table to a banquet table? How do you go from a kitty chair to a big chair? I'm talking to a church that you, you should know this. He said these words. He said, even though, even though. Listen to me, even though, everybody say that, even though, everybody say it again, even though, listen, how God gets this in your heart. Church, that's what I call praise him on credit. That's what I call praise him on credit. That's what I call banquet table praise. That's what I call graduation praise. That's what I call big chair praise. He was in a valley, highly depressed. He didn't feel good. His circumstances didn't look good. Saul was wanting to kill him. Watch this. He was lonely. Come on, somebody. He was messed up. He was busted. He was disgusted. He had a child out of wedlock. He killed a man. He was in a valley. He was depressed. But he said these words, even though I'm sitting in the valley, I can still praise him on credit. I got something in me that can help me get out of this valley. And you've got to believe what I'm preaching today. Because some of you are in a valley. Some of you are in a deep situation. And if you're not careful, you'll have a kitty praise. It's based on everything how you feel. If you like church, you'll praise him. If you walk into a dark sanctuary, yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. If you can't see the words, I'm being honest with y'all. This is the truth. This is the truth. 
Saul said these words, I'm going to praise him on credit. And this is what we've got to learn to do, church. Listen to me. We've got to learn to praise him on credit. We've got to have this in our spirit, and I pray this sticks with you all day long, even though. Even though. Even though I got a bad doctor's report, I got something in me bigger than a bad doctor's report. Even though my circumstances don't look good, even though I got something in me, I promise y'all, y'all gonna need this sermon. When your marriages are in a mess, in shambles, you don't need to call 1-800-DOCTOR FEEL GOOD. You need the 1-800-WATCH-THE-WORD-BE-GOOD. That's, that's what you need. We got something in, here, in this room here today that can change everything. It can change everything. Listen, there's three levels of chairs and there's three levels of praise. Did y'all realize that? There's three chairs and there's three different levels of praise, whether you like this or not. Song, hymns, and spiritual songs. Ephesians chapter 5 talks about this. There's something about a spiritual song will get deep in your spirit. You are a spirit, you have a soul, but you live in a body. Those who worship God must worship Him in spirit and in truth. You can try to raise your fleshly hands, but I promise you, if you're not careful, your fleshly hands will always go to the kitty, kitty, kitty. But there's something in you, no matter where you're at, no matter what's going on. I've seen, I've seen people with fourth stage cancer. When you look at them, you're sitting there going, how in the world are you praising God? Because they learned how to praise him in the valley. They've learned how to praise him no matter what's going on. They've learned something. I'm going to praise him no matter what happens to me. Because whether I live out the hallelujah or whether I die, I'm going to praise him on credit. Woo! I've seen it. Listen, there's kitty praise, there's normal praise, and there's big time praise. And I truly believe God is looking and searching for a church and a people and a youth group and adults and senior adults. Everybody's included. God is looking and God is searching for some big time praisers. Some of you are pay, paying more attention to NBC and CNN and ABC and Fox News and all the affiliates and all the other stations. And I got the good news. His name is Jesus Christ. He reigns. He's sovereign. He's good. And watch this. We win. Y'all ain't getting it. We win. Watch this. I'm going to go. God just credit. He said, you've already won. That's how you praise him on credit. Kitty praise, normal praise, big time praise. Big time praise. I also want to give you this. This is so good. I start studying this out. How many of y'all have ever started reading one verse, and one verse turns into three verses, and three verses turns into a chapter? Next thing you know, you got three hours of study, and everybody's like, where did it go? David also, listen to this, so good about David. I love David. The Bible says David killed a bear, a lion, and a giant. He killed a bear, a lion, and a giant. Listen to this. Terry, this is so good. Good study. One translation said it like this, Allison. He says that David kid killed a kid bear. He killed a normal sized lion, but he killed a big giant. Don't miss that. It's gonna go over your head if you don't if you don't if you don't listen, lean in. He killed a kid bear. See, when we look at it, we look at it, well, bear, a bear's bigger than a lion, Brian. I ain't talking to you. He killed a kid bear, a normal sized lion, and a big giant. Are y'all getting this? Or can I go on? Can I go on? Can I go on? See, men, the giants were killing the bears all day long. They were killing the lions all day long. But there was a, a, a giant named Goliath, and he was cussing God. He was mean. David being five foot six inch tall, a little bitty boy, little bitty man. He says, you may be cussing God, but enough is enough. I'm going to stand up and I'll take your head off with one stone. Whatever I got to do, enough. you cuss him out. You come with me at, with a sword, but I come at you with the name of Jesus Christ. And sometimes in your life, you just got to lay yourself down the kitty way and say, you know what? No matter how it looks, no matter what's going on, 
Goliath, here I come. I'm going to swing this. I'm going to swing the rocks. And I'm going to take your head off. So listen to me. What's the difference? Here it is. What's the difference between a kitty table and a banquet table? Can't wait to get this in your spirit. A kitty table. Listen. A kitty table. A kitty chair will only praise God if you can see it. I'm going to help somebody in here today. If you see it, hear it, feel it, or experience it, boy, you praise him. I'm going somewhere. But what is a banquet table praise? A banquet table praise is that no matter what, no matter what, a banquet table praise thanks God for what you cannot see. <laughs> Kitty table praise, thanks God for what you can see. Banquet table praise, thanks God for what you cannot see. That's called praise him on credit. That's called praise him on credit. Faith calls things, y'all know this, Abraham wrote, faith calls things that are not as though they are. Well, how can you praise God if you don't see it? That's called praise him on credit. Faith calls things that are not as though they are. Faith calls things that are not as though they are. Let me, let me give you some examples. Can I give y'all some examples and we'll just, we'll just get out of here. Y'all ready? No matter how my children are acting. No matter. No matter how my children are acting, I call them blessed. I call them favored. I speak life over them. They, they may act like a fool, but I know somebody that can make a fool. He can straighten them up, stand them up, pray them up, and bring them up in Jesus' name. That's what I'm talking about. I praise him on credit. <laughs> Brian, you don't, you don't know what my kids did to me. God does. Faith calls things that are not as though they are. I'm not making light of children, circumstances. I know they're real, but faith is more real. And I may be the only one, Sarah, that's going to stand up here and tell you that you can change the atmosphere by your praise. We, sit, we get up, we don't feel good. Here's the first thing we do. I'm, have me, I'm telling her, slow down. There's been times and seasons in my life my diabetes was going crazy. Going crazy. It's real. But let me tell you what I've done. And listen, this worked for me. This is what God gave me. It's my sermon, so I'm going to preach it. I made my mind up. I'm not laying down here and accepting sickness. I'm not laying down here and accepting sickness. I threw my feet over the side of the bed. Got me some water and started drinking water, drinking water, drinking water, drinking water, drinking water, drinking water, water, drinking water, 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 water. I drank so much I thought I was Green River. I'd walk through the house. I'd throw my hands up, even though I didn't feel good. Even though I wanted to lay down. Even though I wanted to give up. Even though I didn't want to come to church. Even though I wanted to stay home. I said, no, 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 no. Not today, say, not come by with the good news. God has healed me. I am saved. I am delivered. By his stripes I am healed. And I ain't laying down. I'm just telling you. I don't look at this. Let me give you another one. I don't look. Can, we got any air in here? Because I'm like getting ready to... Sweating. Just leave it like it is and make me work harder. I don't look at this $800,000 debt and say, my God, the economy's down. My, the stock market's failing. God owns the stock market. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills. He owns the gold under the hills. He owns it all. Listen to me. Is he sovereign or is he not? If you say yes, it's all left up to him anyhow. Amen. Here's what I do, Randy. It's crazy. People laugh at me. They laugh at me all the time, Willie. They say, <laughs> I've even had people here at this church, Holly, sit here and go, where's God at now, preacher? He's still on the throne. 
He's still God all by himself. He don't need you. He don't need me. He don't need nobody because he's God. He can do it. If he done it once, he can do it twice. And in Jesus' name, I come by today to praise him on credit. December 27th, I'm looking at God being, well, we've been out of debt. Somebody give him praise in here. Out of debt, out of debt, out of debt. Out of debt, out of debt, out of debt, out of debt, out of debt. Out of debt. And I know a lot of people say, go, Brian, you're just, you're just in denial. You're just, you don't know how it's going to happen, but you're going to praise him anyway. See, that's kitty praise, y'all. Big chair praise, graduation praise, banquet table praise. Says, it don't matter. What? I'm so free. <laughs> I'm so free. <laughs> it don't matter how it works out. Because I don't need it to work out for me to praise him out. I'm going to praise him no matter what happens. Y'all understand what I'm doing? Y'all understand what I'm saying today? Thank you. I'm just telling I don't have sugar diabetes. And as you get up this morning, I praised him before that shot went in me. See, it, look, watch. Either this is real or church is dismissed. It's that real to me. Amen. One day, it don't shock me, watch this, that people die. <laughs> we act like, Willie, we're going to live to be 120, 130, 140. I don't want it to be 120. Oh, wrinkled up. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't want that. I don't want that. I got a body that's waiting for me in glory that I never get sick. Don't have to put up with this old worldly stuff. And, and you're praying to stay here? See, I just think different than a lot of y'all do. Ooh, this is a true story, man. There was a, there was a church here in Kimballsville that went to the funeral home. True story. Went to the funeral home, walked in, told Terry Dabney, said these words, we're going to go to that casket and we're going to raise the dead. This is a true story. Went in there. <laughs> Started praying. Now listen, do I believe that the dead can be raised? Yeah, watch this. Absolutely. Absolutely. But who raises them? They don't. God does. God does. This church went in there. They went up that body that was in that casket. Started praying over it. Watch it. Lord, I command their body to raise this, that, and the other. And Terry Daddy looked at me. He says, Brian, what do you think about that? I said, I think they're ignorant. Don't ask me what I think. I said, why would they want? If we believe what we preach and sing about and talk about and all my loved ones are there waiting on me and we're trying to pray people here and God's wanting us to go there. You see what I'm saying? Watch, it's appointed unto man wants to die and then comes the judgment. So here's, here's the thing, listen to me. There's a difference. David said, even though I walk through the valley of darkness, God is with me. I don't know. Listen, I don't know what valley y'all are in. Praise him, you guys come. I don't know what valley y'all guys are in. I, I don't know if you're sitting at the kitty chair, the normal chair, or the big chair. All I know is this. Here it is. Y'all ready? You can learn a valuable lesson through David. David said, even though I'm in the darkest valley I've ever been in in my life, I'm walking through it. Y'all hear me? Some of you have stopped stepping. Some of you have stopped praising. Some of you are paying more attention to your valley than you are the praise. David said, I'm walking through it. And I wrote this down in my personal notes. I'm not staying in it, but I'm walking through it. I'm not staying in it. I'm walking through it. Come on, somebody. I'm not staying in it. I'm going to walk through it. I don't understand the valley. I don't understand my circumstances. I don't understand a lot of things that are happening. Some of y'all are completely wigged out about November the 3rd. And we're going to talk about that. 
And listen, I'm telling you, I'm just going to be honest, I'm going to preach it. The last Sunday of this month, we're going to talk. I'll never tell you how to vote. I'll never tell you how to vote. But I'll tell you, I'll give you some things that you should consider before you vote. And we're going to talk about that. Because it's time to go from the kitty chair to the big chair. Hallelujah. Even the kids are listening up in here today. That's right. Because listen, if we're, not, if we're not careful, here's what will here's happen. Here's what will happen. I know it. I can feel this in my spirit. You will outgrow that. But you'll come comfortable here. You'll, come, you'll, you'll become comfortable here. You're at church. And you don't, you don't got the kitty praise no more. You, you, you graduated from Awanas and GAs and RAs and all the A's. But here you are this morning. Everything's normal. <laughs> when somebody, I was in the back and I heard Jeff Muncy give a shout. That blessed me. Because see, y'all don't realize where Muncy come from. Jeff, I remember I was in Danville, Kentucky on a Friday night and your bride, Leanne, called me. And she said, Brian, where you at? And I said, I'm doing a, doing a wedding. I'm in Danville, Kentucky. And I heard someone in the background crying. And I'm not talking about a little cry. I'm talking about a big chair cry. I said, Lynn, is that Jeff? And she said, Brian, he's been in the floor for hours. And all he's doing is crying. See, when I look at Leanne and Jeff, she prayed for 20-some years. 20-some years that her husband would come worship beside her in church. That shout! That shout means something! That valley you're going through means something! Don't give up, Mama! Don't give up, Daddy! Hallelujah! You just gotta go from a kitty praise to a normal praise to a big chair praise. That shout means something. My father in law got diagnosed with cancer. The doctor told him, said, Mr. Walker, get your house in order. Because within one year, you won't be here. The, no <laughs> the normal person, well, God, that's just the way you want it, I guess. I guess, Lord, if that's what you want, I got to settle for it. And then some people, God, I'm mad at you. They go, you God, I've served you all my life, and then you treat me like this. But a big chair praise. No matter, hey, 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 no matter what's going on, no matter what the storm looks like, no matter what the doctor says, I got to praise in me. I'm going to praise him on credit. I need somebody to stand in their feet and praise God on credit. God, you are worthy. You're worthy in your God today, Lord Jesus. I praise you on credit. Woo! Feel the Holy Ghost. How many years has that been, Bobby? It was 2012. <laughs> it's 2020 now, Mark. All I'm saying, I remember, can I, can I just tell you, I, I, I want to build your spirit, I want to build your faith. God spoke into me, he said, you tell Bobby, this is crazy for the rest of his life to take Holy Communion. Brian, 
for the rest of his life? Yeah, isn't that great? I told Bobby, he didn't even hesitate. He said, if that's what God told you, that's what I'm going to do. Since 2012 to 2020, every day of his life, he's had Holy Communion. Yeah. That's big chair praise. That's banquet table praise. That's graduation praise. Do y'all feel it this morning? Do you see what God is doing? Woo. Boy, something good's happening here at this church. Something so good is happening here at this church. Allison, don't give up, girl. Real praise. Ah, God just gave me. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Real praise, most of the time, comes from a valley. <laughs> if you can't praise Him on the mountain, if you can't praise Him in the valley, you'll never really praise Him up there on the mountain. What I'm saying is this, church, no matter where you're at, if you're in the kitty, 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 kitty chair, it's time to graduate, not to the normal seat, to the big chair, to the big chair. Some of you right now, you're dealing with something. I felt it in my spirit two weeks ago. God gave me this sermon two weeks ago, two weeks ago. Some of you right now, you're in the valley. Your marriage is in shambles. I'm going to challenge you this morning. Can you praise Him on credit? Can you praise Him on credit? Some of y'all got a bad doctor's report. Can you praise Him on credit? Well, Brian, that's just ignorant. No, that's just praise. Though I walk through, through. Everybody say through. <laughs> Though I walk through. I'm going through it. But I'm coming out. I'm not going to stop halfway and unpack my bags and settle at a kitty table. I'm not going to do it. You've got a pastor in front of you that I believe no matter what, even though, everybody say even though. Here's how you do it. I'm done. Thank how do you. How do you, how do you keep walking through the valley? How do you not give up? How do you not lay in your bed? Here's how you do it, Allison. Thus saith the Lord. Even though I am. Let me, let me explain it while God's speaking to me. Even though I am. Everybody say, even though I am. Everybody, everybody rest up. Even though I am. This time. Even though I am. Even though. God is so good. I love that I can hear him. I don't believe you can hear him. I ain't talking to you. Because if you can't hear him, you really can't hear me. Even though I'm walking through this valley, I am going to still praise him. Even though the circumstances don't look too good, I am going to still praise him. Even though things are not lining out the way I thought that they would, I am going to still praise him. Even though I am, that's a good word. Even though I am, even though I am. You know what they call that, Rondo? Big chair praise. Hey, Aaron, put that big chair back up there. I'm not crying, I'm sweating like a dog. <laughs> I love that. I just love that. <laughs> that looks funny, don't it? <laughs> I'm laughing. It's funny. <laughs> I'll leave it up there. Thank you, Joy. That's an associate pastor right there. I can carry... Oh, this is so good. I can carry this around. I'm responsible for this one. That one, I got to trust the seat I'm sitting in. I got to trust where I'm sitting. I got to trust where I'm at. 
And in Jesus Christ's name, I speak a big chair praise over everybody in here today. Big chair. So here's how what we're going to do. I don't know where you're at. I don't know if you're in the valley. And listen, I'm not making light. I, I know. I know sickness is real. Watch this. I know COVID's real. But I choose to praise Him on credit. You understand this? No matter where this section's at, no matter where y'all are at, no matter what's going on over here, no matter what, what's going on over there, I'm going to praise Him on credit. And watch this. If I die today, and that's very possible, don't let it wig y'all out. Y'all can't handle this, can you? And if you try to come lay hands on me, I'm going to send my angel down to kick your rear end. And I'm going to say, stick them. Don't y'all, uh-uh. Let me, Ralph, go. Let the children go. Pharaoh, let them go. So in Jesus Christ's name, are y'all ready? Are you sitting in the kitty chair? Your feelings get hurt all the time. You're mad. Throw stuff. Stupid. Mad. Sucking on a lemon. <laughs> I'm glad to be home. I don't know about y'all. Or the normal seat. Man, you're, you're here today, but are you really? You're, you're allowing what? God is, y'all just work with me. Y'all are allowing the kitty stuff to rob your praise, and that's making you have normal stuff. God's speaking, man. Y'all ain't listening. It's y'all's fault. You, you, are, you have allowed, watch this. You have allowed kitty stuff. Kitty stuff. To rob you from the big stuff. And now you're sitting in the normal stuff. So I'm done. That's the third time. I got it. Baptist preachers wrap it up after the third time. So y'all ready? Kitty chair, normal chair, big chair. Kitty table, banquet table. Where y'all at this morning? Where you at this morning? Where you at this morning? I promise you, if you don't deal with a 20-year-old past, you'll be sitting at the kitty table when Jesus comes. So, Father God, I've done what you called me to do. I have preached what you told me to preach. God, I pray that you gave us ears to hear what the Spirit of God is saying. God, I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are bigger and greater than any storm, any situation, any circumstance, any giant, any bear, any lion that we are up against. God, I pray that your people, your church, goes from a kitty seat to a big chair seat. That God, you would continue to grow us up. That God, you take us from the milk to the meat. God bless every person that's in this sanctuary right now, God. I feel the Holy Ghost. Every person that's here. And God, may we have big chair praise. In Jesus' name I pray. And all God's people say it. This altar's open. This altar, listen to me. God's moving. If you feel like a King David, you're in the darkest valley of your life. How you get out? You praise your way out. Praise your way out. Praise your way out. So God, have your way. Bless your people. JT, y'all take us in the presence. This altar's open. You come. You come. You come. We're not waiting on God. Watch. God's waiting on you.